This Kellowan Living segment is sponsored by the Denny Sanford Premier Center. With room for 12,000 spectators, there's a ticket for you in South Dakota's largest indoor entertainment venue. There's nothing better than getting to enjoy an event with those near and dear to your heart. And from concerts to conventions, there isn't any better venue than the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Soon, Kelloland's Premier Venue will be even better with new concession options. Here to explain how the Premier Center is working to increase their culinary prowess is Mike Krusen, the Premier Center's General Manager. Mike is here explaining a few key shifts in the concession process. Welcome, Mike. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you so much for joining me here today. We all love the Denny, we love what you're doing there. But tell us how important and the key role that these concessions play. Well, obviously, when you're here for a sporting event or music event, you know, food and beverage plays a key part. It's a, you're there to you know, take care of your thirst, your hunger, those type of things. So we're refining some of our processes, brought in a new pizza provider, Boss's Pizza will be our pizza provider this year. And then we're also trying a grab and go concept, which has been done around the country. And basically you shop. So instead of standing in a concession line, there's coolers and hot food items and even some healthier food options. And you just basically go, you pull it out of the cooler, you check out and you're back to your seat to enjoy the event. And we're gonna get into both of these a little bit more, the pizza and the grab and go concessions. But when it comes to this, how often is the Denny revisiting what they should do with their concessions or why now are you guys deciding to change some things? Well, during the summer is our slower period of time. So we focus on getting through our busy time and then we start talking about processes of whether we're gonna add menu items, we're gonna subtract menu items. Um, we look at the cost, obviously, of food products. Um, so we sometimes have to adjust our concession prices as well. The summer is a nice break. We get into our fall hockey season and our fall concert season, and that's usually a good time to make those changes. When it comes to the concessions that you guys have had in the recent years, what are some of those most popular items? You know, uh, chicken tenders are a big, oh, yeah. a, a big, big mover there. Um, you know, burgers, hot dogs. We've got a really good hot dog. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's those type of things. Uh, popcorn is big. We do good, make good popcorn, uh, comparable to movie theater popcorn. So, uh, you know, those things move. Um, but like I said, we still get feedback throughout the year of, you know, possibly trying to add for certain events, some healthier options. So that's what we're looking at for this coming year. What was some of that biggest feedback that you did receive from individuals coming to the event center for all these events going on? Well, usually the events that the people like, like say state wrestling, state basketball, where the people are there a little bit longer than a normal event, you know, they were looking for wraps or salads and stuff like that. So we're gonna, certain events, we'll have those on a limited basis. Uh, we certainly have to worry about spoilage um, and those type of things. So there may be a limited amount and when they sell out, they sell out. So let's get back to this pizza now. Yes. So what changes are we seeing by switching who is providing the pizza? Well, again, you know, we've had Papa John's there for a number of years, and it was just it was just time. We had some again client feedback, everything like that. Um, decided to go with again a local type business as opposed to a national chain. Um, got lots of positive feedback um, in the community about bosses, so we decided to make that move. And when it comes to the pizza toppings and the flavors and everything that comes with it, are we going to see more variety? Um, you know, variety is, is a little bit challenging just right. because of, you know, it's not going into the pizza store and ordering your stuff. So we're going to have, again, probably two to three different types of pizza. You're going to have your pepperoni and your, you know, your sausage and then um, maybe just a cheese pizza. So it's, it's a lot simpler than going to the store, but I think people will, again, notice the difference. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this grab and go yes. that you're going to be offering too, because when you explained it earlier, I feel like it kind of reminds me of, you know, those little airport mini convenience stores. It kind of, from what you said, but explain a little bit more about what this is going to look like. It, it, it is kind of like that, except, you know, you're not gonna, the, the airport stuff, you have a lot of different items and like that. Um, we're gonna, again, try to ramp up our, ourselves, but it's basically, it's gonna be, you know, contour bottle soda, beer, some hot food items like hot dogs, um, maybe some, again, probably some chicken tenders type thing. It's gonna be fairly simple to start. 
till people get going with it and we're able to add more items in there. But basically, yes, yeah, you just you walk in, you walk to the cooler, you pull out what you want, you go to the cashier, pay with your card, and you're back to the event. So do you think this option will also allow for more healthier options if people are looking for that too? It, it will, I think so, because again, just the display with the cooler and stuff like that, you know, if we're able to put, again, some of the salads or the wraps type stuff in there, it's a little bit easier and they can grab their own particular one as opposed to standing in a line at a concession um, stand and then waiting for that to be prepared or, um, you know, not getting to pick their particular one that they want in the thing. So right. I, I think it will go over very well. Um, it's again, it's it's becoming a big part of concessions around the country and it's, it's our time to jump into it. Will the items available in there change depending on maybe who, if it's a concert or if it's an event like state wrestling, or but, how often do you think you'll cycle through? They will, obviously. If it's a concert, it's probably going to be more beverage-centric. It's going to be your beers and your sodas, those type of things, maybe some hot dogs. Um, if it's a, a state wrestling or a family-style event, obviously it's, it's going to skew towards, hey, some healthier items. Maybe there's some candy bars. Maybe there's some you know, different items like that. So uh, we're you're just going to look at and play with the menu a little bit as we as we move forward. I'm curious on how the process to get all of this changed and started works because for us, we just come to the Denny, we enjoy the food, we enjoy the event going on, but we really don't know what it takes behind the scenes to get something like this going. Well, I mean, it's we get reports for for every event um, on you know what the usage is, you know how many hot dogs are purchased, how much popcorn, chicken tenders. And so we kind of look at that, but then we also look at some of our potential lesser items and food cost plays into it on whether we cycle some of those out and make those changes. So it's, it's a process that we look you know, to. Um, it's a little bit difficult to try to make those changes a lot during the year because product is purchased and everything like that. It's much easier during our slower time to reevaluate. That makes sense. Well, I'm excited to check out the new items. I always love a good snack when I'm at an event. So thank you so much for coming in today and telling us all about what we can expect for concessions at the Denny. Great, thank you. You can find the fun at the Denny Sanford Premier Center in Sioux Falls. And with their new concession options, you'd better bring your appetite. Whether you call it the Premier Center or the Denny, the event center is located at 1201 Northwest Avenue in Sioux Falls. You can see a complete schedule of events on their website, DennySanfordPremierCenter.com. If you have a question, you can reach them by phone at 605-367-7288 or send them an email. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by the Denny Stanford Premier Center. With room for 12,000 spectators and fans, there's a ticket for you in South Dakota's largest indoor entertainment venue.